depois trocamos. Depois mais tarde. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we'll start this uh, press conference. We'll start with questions for the player Danilo, and we'll then ask questions to Sergio Conciso. First question, please. Carlos. Good afternoon, Danilo. Liverpool's press conference today spoke about uh, favouritism uh, in the game. That, you know, Liverpool at home would be favourite. Hardly anyone's won here, not in the Champions League and other competitions. Uh, is there an issue of revenge, a score to settle, related to what happened last year between the two teams? Uh, I'd like ask your opinion about the uh, Liverpool being favourites and if this is this feeling uh, of revenge given what happened last year. In relation to favouritism, maybe it depends on Liverpool's side, you know, they're playing at home and it's always a difficult stadium to come to. It's normal that they're favourites, it depends upon them. I think in the squad, I don't think there's any feeling of revenge. Because whoever thinks about revenge uh, doesn't, uh, is unsuccessful. It's a feeling of ambition and belief. And the squad is working its hardest. And we're working to be able to get past this great channel challenge, which is Liverpool. And to be in the semi-final of the Champions League. Good afternoon, Danilo. Antonio, we're live for Brasa Noticias. So you've got a great partnership with Hector Herrera on the pitch. Uh, he's not going to be able to play tomorrow. Who, who do you see that could, from the squad, that could substitute uh, Herrera? And uh, how have you been working in training uh, on this? Hector's uh, a huge loss for us. He's our captain. But our squad has very competent players that can, one can substitute the other. We have quality players, international players, that can play in any uh, tournament like this one. This is important for us, not just have one option uh, in the game, but to have various options. We've worked very well uh, in preparation of this game against Liverpool. It's a team we know well. And now we need to put into practice uh, what we've worked upon and what we have in mind. Good afternoon, Danilo. Is Liverpool a team in terms of attacking terms? Uh, you know, the image that Sergio has given to us about Liverpool, that we could also have. Could you try and explain what are the weak points of Liverpool? It's a team that has is a great attack. They uh, have the ease of counter-attacking very quick players. It's a very compact team as well. As I said as well, uh, they've also got their uh, weak spots, but I'm not going to say them here because they're strategies that we have, but we hope to exploit them uh, the most possible and uh, try and get catch them by surprise. Good afternoon. I ask you, uh, I'll also speak about Sergio Conceição about this uh, before, in the interview before. These Champions League games have a very different competitive context than the Portuguese League. They demand certain differences from a strategic point of view. How did the team feel this? Do they see these uh, games, uh, the intensity? Uh, we're talking about Liverpool, who you know are uh, fighting for the uh, national, t the Premier League title. Uh, the Champions League context is always different from uh, other competitions. But whatever the strategy and the tactics, uh, we don't lose what we are as a team, uh, our ideas, and that's important. If there are going to be any tactical alterations or the way we're going to play, it's not that important. 
what's most important is knowing what the uh, coaches want of us to put it on the pitch and get through this uh, knockout round. In your reply, you spoke about not, cha not changing your identity, but definitely it's the opposite of what happens in Portugal. You're prepared to have less possession than normally and you'll suffer a bit more than usual. So I ask you, is that part of your strategy, that you're going to suffer a bit more, that you can find the right uh, counter-attack, uh, a dead ball situation to be able to get away from this pressure of Liverpool? They'll be. Uh, we'll have everything in mind. Uh, we we'll have more possession against Liverpool. Uh, there'll be greater pressure. There'll be times when we won't have as much ball. But that happens in the Portuguese league as well. It's not a hundred percent that we're always in possession of the ball, uh, attacking. There are times when we have parts of the game that are more defensive, and we don't get away from the idea that our, you know, game plan you know, to realise our potential. And that's the challenge ahead. What, what does a player think, like yourself, Danilo, about more defensive tactics when you get on the pitch, uh, when you think about playing against your Salé, Salas and your Manes? I think they're not getting past me. That's what I think. They're not getting past me. And I do, I do my best to do that. Demanding the microphone without the microphone. Uh, the, the results of tomorrow. What would you like to say about the performance of your team tomorrow? Danili is always a very honest and demanding uh, player regarding his team. Uh, the result, we don't know what's going to be tomorrow. Often. What would you like to say about uh, Porto's football tomorrow? The position of Porto tomorrow is going to be uh, our, an attitude that's quite unique to us. We're a, a team that will not give up, that will fight. We're very competent uh, in what for what a game demands. You know, even though we're against, just because it's Liverpool, we're not going to you know change our ways. But. We represent FC Porto, and tomorrow will be a difficult game against a difficult opponent, a, a demanding opponent. We need to be mentally prepared uh, for this. It's not just one more game. It's the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Good afternoon. Uh, official channels of Liverpool talked about the uh, games against... Uh, historical and, and, and they were very complimentary uh, about Porto and your, your football so uh, how do you react to uh, you know the Liverpool TV channels being very complimentary about you and uh, you know, what qualities will you bring to this game uh, it, my reaction is positive it's great that they talk uh, highly of us uh, you know it's obvious I think that the individual battles on the pitch in football, uh, they're very important because uh, they're the battles that that will you know, count at the end of the game. Whoever wins more uh, battles, whoever avoids, uh, keeps the uh, ball away from the goal, will definitely be more successful in, in the entire, across the entire game. So this game isn't going to be different from other games. We're going to have to really fight. We're going to have to have sufficient intensity to win these battles because Liverpool, in terms of intensity and, uh, you know, dedication, they're a you know, very tough team. Thank you very much, Danilo. Questions?